what we're going to do today is actually jump inside Premiere. I'm going to share all of my favorite time-saving tips for helping you edit your videos. If you record a two-hour interview, for example, one of the most time-consuming and difficult parts of the edit, you're going to have to listen to all two hours back. If we ever press play or the space bar on our keyboard, so I'll just play people this. people from high school and they're like... While it's playing, you can press the L key on your keyboard. Yo, I just saw like you're turning on YouTube. Like, that's sick. I know you made YouTube videos. And if you and notice, you it's works, playing right? in yeah, it's two times no, speed. I mean, I mean, you could still completely understand what's being said. So you can scan through the whole footage, chop out the parts that you want or don't need. But you can do it twice as fast. That is one of the most simple tips, but will quite literally save you at least two times the review time of editing. If we're ever, let's say, adjusting the scale or, of a clip, you know, one cool shortcut is you can always press the arrow keys. So up and down if you want to just increase by one pixel or one percent, depending on the effect. If you hold up and down, shift will modify the shortcut to go 10 at a time. Mm. If we highlight a clip, go to the effects controls tab area and we click this little more button, we can open the text window. Okay, well, I've already transcribed it, but basically when you click it, there'll be a little button here that says transcribe sequence. And what you'll get is this text transcription. We can scan through the footage like we're reading a script. I can just click search and I can type in client and it'll find all of the parts where the word client is mentioned. Let's say I just want this paragraph. I can literally lift or extract this right out of the clip. These are pauses or filler sections and you can actually just delete these pauses and I can just click create captions. Now we have this captions track on top of our layers. Another thing we have is if we go to the essential sound panel and we highlight any audio clip, enhance speech button. So it's right here under EQ and it'll automatically go through your clip and analyze it. Some of the results are pretty mind blowing. Let's say we wanted this music to fit exactly on a one minute intermission. So if we head to the toolbar under the ripple edit tool, there's the remix tool. If I click this button now, when I trim the edges, it's actually going to remix it based on where I'm ending it. You have a lot of powerful color options right in this Lumetri color panel. So, you know, boost contrast, there's even auto correct tools here. But another useful tool that's available in Premiere is called adjustment layers. And adjustment layers are just great for adjusting multiple portions of the same clip. Let's say I'm making a slideshow in Premiere. So I've got a couple of photos here. If I drag them onto our sequence, I can highlight all of them, nest them, and it'll turn it into basically one clip for us to be able to work with. I can add a scale keyframe at 100, zoom in gradually. So the entire slideshow will constantly be slightly zooming in. If I ever double click a nested sequence, it'll open it back up. And you can see all the original clips. They didn't go anywhere. The default transition, if you ever right click, just apply default transition. You'll always have a handy cross dissolve. Mm. I can just use the shortcut Command D. Let's say I have a clip. If I press Q on the keyboard, it'll automatically trim the edge of that clip onto the closest cut. So even if these clips are right up next to each other, every time I press Q, it just trims and shoves everything back together. And W is the same thing for the other way. So oh. trimming from the other end. But let's say there's a logo on the backpack that I want to blur out. I'm going to go to my effects. I'm just going to search for mosaic. I can add a mask onto that effect by clicking the create ellipse mask. Let's say there was a, a logo on the backpack I didn't want. Premiere actually has simple 2D tracking that could save you some time in simple scenarios. I can press this play button here that's track selected mask forward and it'll just go through and it'll try to track this mask in a simple 2D way. You can see it created a keyframe for every single frame. That would be pretty tedious doing by hand and yeah. it looks like it tracks pretty well so far. I mean, that's pretty good. There's this keyboard shortcuts window and you can see every single shortcut that's in there. You can make your own. So let's say for some reason you wanted to change it, you can do that. Just getting familiar with all the different shortcuts, all the different preferences and capabilities, and just tools will make your workflow faster and you can just create the videos that you want. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Justin, and thank you everyone for watching today. Thank See you, you everyone later. for watching. Bye.